South Korea's hunt for medals begins with men's football against New Zealand on Thursday at 5 p.m. Other athletes are gearing up as well with various competitions set to be held over the coming days. Kim do provides a glimpse of what to expect. The very first athletes to represent South Korea in the Summer's Olympics will be the men's football team which faces New Zealand on Thursday. Head coach Kim ak -bom says New Zealand will be a tough opponent but remains confident in clinching a victory. He said the country is going through hard times due to COVID-19, so the team will do its best to deliver good news to the citizens. Other athletes are gearing up for their first matches as well. Next up to represent South Korea will be the nation's archers, who are set to release their first arrows at 9 a.m. on Friday. South Korea has swept the 23 of the 40 Olympic gold medals on offer in archery since 1990 and is aiming to claim gold in all five events in Tokyo. But Tokyo 2020 will be the last Olympics for world-class women's volleyball player Kim Hyun-kyung. She has been very vocal about her motivation for an Olympic medal throughout her career and even returned to Korea's domestic league last year to help maintain her match sharpness. Kim and the rest of the women's volleyball team will finish up their preparations with a warm-up match against Italy on Friday before facing Brazil on Sunday. Then there's the defending champions, men's baseball team, which has been practicing hard in Korea. Baseball was removed as an Olympic sport after Beijing 2008, but has made a return for Tokyo 2020. South Korea's team has three tune-up games scheduled this week with domestic pro teams and will depart for Tokyo on Monday before facing Israel next Friday in the first game. Kim Do-yeon, Arirang News.